Welcome to Greece. I'm Luke Martin, and this is a food road trip across the beautiful island of Crete. So today we're taking a little road trip across the beautiful island of Crete, and the landscapes here are very diverse. You've got beautiful Mediterranean beaches, but you also have places like this little village we've stopped in for breakfast today. It's called Vrysis, and it's a beautiful green, lush, mountainous region of Crete and we've stopped at this restaurant which is right beside this river here and this village in particular is very famous for their yogurt because of the fresh clean water here they can make really high quality yogurt and they also have another specialty called Svakian pie and there are all of these docks like hundreds of these docks just chilling in the water here it's a beautiful setting for a restaurant we're here bright and early so we ordered up some of the famous Rices yogurt and Svakian pie. So we're sitting down now. I've got my Svakian pie and I'm just squeezing some honey on it. This honey is really cold, so it's kind of coming out really slowly. But this is a cheese pie, slightly toasted on the outside, and it's really supposed to be eaten with this honey. And then over here, we've got the beautiful yogurt, which this town of Reisus is famous for. Let's try the pie first. This is also very famous from this village, but you can you can have this all over Crete. This is the famous place to have it though, here in this small little village, sitting at this beautiful restaurant, and you can see underneath there all of that cheese, which is gonna be, I'm guessing, sour, so it goes nicely with the honey. Let's try. I think that might be a sheep's cheese on the inside. It's definitely salty, a little bit sour. The honey balances it out nice. It's a little bit dry, the pie on the outside, so let's chase it with some of this yogurt. Super famous yogurt, I love Greek yogurt. Famous around the world, but here in Crete, this is the place to have it. Oh my gosh, yum. Oh, just so natural, fresh. Mm. Sour, but balanced once again with the honey. Mm. You can see just how thick and creamy this yogurt is. It's literally almost a solid. You can just tell that's homemade. Mm. Silky smooth. Ooh, that's good yogurt. Nice little breakfast spot, really beautiful restaurant with the river and all the docks and amazing yogurt. Pie was just okay. We're gonna get in the car and continue our road trip. We're heading to the town of Brathimno next. All right, made it to Brathimno. Driving here in Crete is definitely the way to go. It's beautiful and it's a big island, so there's a lot to see. And we're gonna head now to a traditional philo uh, workshop and see how they're making traditional Greek desserts. We just got the amazing opportunity to watch traditionally how filo is made at this shop here in Rathemno that has been around since 1950. So filo is the very thin dough used to make baklava. So the way that he does it is he starts with this kind of pizza size piece of dough and he works it and works and works it but then he throws it up and it lands and kind of suctions all the air underneath and creates this big balloon and then he slowly pulls it and pulls it and stretches it so it's the size of this massive table. I don't even know how big that table is. It's huge and by the time that it's covering the entire table, it is just paper, paper thin, like tissue thin. And that is used to make the baklava. So they stuff it with knots, roll it up, and every day this shop is making the bilo and then the next day they are uh, 
cooking the baklava and selling it fresh. What a cool experience to see how they're making it. Once again, super friendly people here in Greece. And we've got, of course, some of the final products. So this is his famous baklava with a little bit of pistachios on top and made with that fresh phyllo. So you can see the layers upon layers upon layers of phyllo there. But the reality is that's actually just one sheet wrapped around and around and around. It's incredible how he does it. And he doesn't rip it and he just is perfectly in his element, master of his element. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Super crunchy, sweet, soaked with that sugar syrup, but might actually be honey. Nuts in there, a little bit of hints of pistachio. Look at that. Look at the thinness. That is a master's work. Oh, listen to this crunch. Come in close. Oh, that's damn good baklava. Oh my gosh. So we've just popped into a restaurant called Stella's Kitchen. This is supposed to be the best place to eat in Rethymno. Super, super friendly. We just met Stella and her son. This is pasticcio. It's lasagna with minced meat, beef, and bechamel sauce and cheese on the top. They're showing us all the dishes. We're here a little bit early, so they're still cooking some things. And I just told them to surprise me, so we're waiting to see what they bring out. You know, They're still they cooking? Come, come. <laughs> it's not ready, that's the point. Oh, not what? ready yet. Giant beans with lots beans, of veggies. Uh, okay. Yes, and 10 minutes maybe, no, more. Sweet and sour chicken. Oh. Honey, with what? honey, ginger, orange, orange. juice, and uh, sesame. sesame. Wow. So uh, what yes. is your favorite, Stella? To uh, eat, you mean, or yeah, to make? To, to eat. If I tell you that I'm not eating too much uh, meat, Mm -hmm. I'm not, okay. but um, I prefer like um, spinach and rice, like my mother uh, tried to, to feed us once okay. and she just put uh, rice into the spinach because spinach is good for you, like papaya. Mm -hmm. So spinach and rice, that reminds me of my mama and my uh, uh, grandma. Also this, this is lentils. We make lentil soup from the day before and the next day we just put rice so it's very good for oh, okay. you. Um, beans, of, uh, of course, also the fresh beans. But uh, rabbit is my favorite rabbit. because rabbit is my own farm rabbit. Because it's I, your own farm? Of course. Really? Okay. Yes, in the village called okay. Passos. Try everything. Yeah. Try everything. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome, guys. Wow. They didn't hold back. They brought out what looks to be nearly everything they had there. So it's kind of like canteen style. You can pick. There's all the freshly cooked stuff of the day. We've got two plates with all kinds of stuff. Let me try to introduce everything. So this is actually spinach with rice. That Stella said that uh, it's her mother's recipe. This is the rabbit straight from their farm. We've got some pork over here and then some lasagna. And then back here on this plate, we've got, it uh, oh, looks like some chicken, a patty. This is like a lentil soup that they cook overnight and then they just add the rice and it kind of absorbs a little bit of rice, a little bit more spinach and some potatoes here. Oh man, this just looks insane. Whew, they're trying to kill us here. It's gonna be a lot to eat. Let's take it. Whew, I don't even know where to begin guys, but I'm gonna start with this, this rabbit. She really hyped it up, said it comes from her own farm. So you've got to try this, a Cretan specialty too. This tastes so home cooked. Cooked with love, you can just tell. Super tender rabbit too, yum. Okay, I'm gonna try the, the lasagna next with bechamel sauce. It's kind of interesting. It's got these kind of pasta noodles on the inside. Let's try it. Creamy, a little bit of pepper in there, cheese on the top. Oh man, that's good too. Let's go over a little squeeze of lemon on these these greens here, the spinach. And then this other one is just spinach with the rice mixed in, which is Stella. She said this is her favorite. She doesn't eat too much meat, so she said this one's like her all-time favorite. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's so soft. Everything just tastes so well cooked. Mm. You can't go wrong with mother's recipe. So I guess this is just the spinach, but without the rice. Mm. Oh, 
No, I don't think that one is spinach. It's a different type of greens, actually. Not spinach. That first one was spinach with the rice, but this one's a little bit different. Mm. It's actually almost got like a bitter aftertaste. A Cretan greens. I'd have to ask them to find out exactly what it's called. What what do you call this? Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. Yeah, yeah, yeah sour. but it's my mom's recipe. Wow. Oranges. It it's, it's ginger. Lots of oranges. Greens, yeah. Orange. Uh, pepper. Salt. Wow. Organ. Olive oil, of course. Lots. Uh, garlic. Oh, that looks yeah, amazing yeah. too. Yeah. Everything Thank here you. looks amazing. Nice stuff. <laughs> Thank you. So I was actually just asking Stella about this vegetable right here. She calls it stamagatia, and it's a thorny bush that only grows in the high mountains of Crete, so you can only have it here, and it's very healthy, it's good for your kidneys, good for uh, diabetics, um, it kind of clears out your blood. It definitely has a, a bitter taste, so you're gonna wanna squeeze some lemon, but a lot of things like that, that are bitter and strong, tend to be very healthy for you as well. I just love the style of dining, you get so many different things on one plate, and just, just leave it up to them to choose for you, because they definitely know best. Work with tomatoes, also super tender, very juicy. Oh, and that tomato just bursts with flavor. So this is the lentil stew cooked overnight, and then they just add the rice, and it kind of absorbs all of those lentils. Mm. Everything's so good. Oh, I feel like I can taste a little bit of cinnamon in there. It tastes fresh on the sweeter side, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Just admire the beauty of this plate of food. And you can see, look at how much juice is at the bottom there. Everything is just so juicy and honestly, I think that this spinach with rice is my favorite. And might just be a little bit biased because Stella said it's her favorite, but it is soup. So this they just call burger. <laughs> I was like, what is this called? They're like burger. But it's got tons of uh, spices and filling. I believe it's a beef burger. I saw. These are products of a master chef. She's been here for 23 years in this location. Her son's going to take over the business next. That is the type of restaurant I love to dine at. You always can be assured when she's using mother's recipes, keeping the tradition, 23 years, multi-generational, everything cooked with love, home cooked tasting. That is the type of restaurant you want to find no matter where you are in the world. And here in Crete, this is the place to be. So like the vibe of this restaurant and the taste of Stella's food made you feel like you eat at your own house cooking by your mom or your grandma. I love this too. Spinach and rice, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Yum. Couple shots of raki and uh, some grapes. Classic uh, dessert here in Greece. What a restaurant. Super humble. You gotta support places like this, guys. If you come to Rathemno, you have to come to Stella's Kitchen. Mm. Tell her I sent you. That was truly a remarkable meal. The hospitality of Stella and her son was just, oh man, incredible. It just makes you feel so good as you're leaving and I just wanna come back as soon as possible. Burning off some of those calories from Stella's restaurant, walking around the beautiful town of Rathimno, another gorgeous town here in Crete. And we're gonna jump back in the car here in a little bit and head to a nearby monastery. So this is the Arkadi Monastery. It was founded in the 13th century. It is an extremely important holy site, not only in Crete, but in all of Greece. It's also 
a, a site where a battle was fought during the Cretan Revolution. They actually call it the Holocaust. It was perpetrated by the Turks and you can actually see remnants of the battle here. There's a scorched tree and within the tree is an actual bullet. So that was in 1866. It's extremely picturesque. It looks like you're just walking around in a painting here. It is so beautiful, super peaceful, quiet. You've got these incredible olive trees, all these flowers, and then the facade of the monastery is just breathtakingly beautiful. Video proof of me stopping to smell the roses. Oh my god, it actually smells amazing. Oh. So, so weird. Hey! So we have reached our final destination of our road trip across Crete. We've went from west to east starting in Hanya and now we are in the town of Stalida. And we've come here specifically because we've been graciously invited by a local couple, Angela and Mike, who have a home here in Stalida Bay. And they've invited us over for a barbecue, a traditional Cretan barbecue. So the view, just incredible here. And we've got the wood fire going in the oven and we're gonna get the meat going going here soon all traditional very beautiful i can't wait to try it out so this is the first of many dishes we're going to be cooking today this is the lamb it's on a bed of uh grape vines just to keep it off of the pan so it doesn't burn and just with some salt and pepper and oregano it's going to go right into the oven here so the oven is just down there and then this is uh angela and mike's property all the way up to the top of this mountain here and they've got their own fresh oregano growing here and guys this smells so amazing like dried oregano does not have the smell that this fresh stuff does and that's the oregano that's on the lamb that's going in the oven hey guys i just wanted to let you know that we stayed at mike and angela's incredible villa in stalita bay and so can you if you'd like to book it yourself there's information down in the description box to do so and they said that for viewers of chopstick travel staying longer than 10 nights they'll give you the exact same experience you saw in this video cook you up some incredible Cretan food in the barbecue so make sure to check out their property down in the description box huge thank you to Mike and Angela for being the best hosts in all of Crete so we've got the lamb and potatoes in the oven they've been in there I don't know maybe an hour we're just gonna check on them now look at that That smells amazing. Check out this Greek salad. Oh my gosh, this is massive. Look at the chunk of feta on there. And then that's the fresh oregano from just the backyard here. And we're just waiting for the lamb and the meat to cook. But in the meantime, I'm gonna try some of this because we're drinking raki and you definitely don't wanna to drink too much raki without eating any food. <laughs> Grab a nice, healthy chunk of feta tomato here. Oh, and that feta. I love how much feta you get with it. Like in Canada, tiny little pieces of feta. Not here, big chunks of feta. So besides the oven, we also have a grill. Getting the wood fire going on that too. Gonna grill a bunch of different types of meat, chicken, pork, all kinds of things. Finished? Yes, finished. So the lamb is finished cooking. How long was that? Like three hours? Three hours. Three hours, okay. I'm gonna give it a, get the honor of first taste. Yes. Thank you. Down. Oh, okay. I'll take the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Look at that. It's just from a small lamb. You said only like 12 kgs from the high mountains of Crete. Ooh, that's hot. Take a small bite. Oh. <coughs> I need to wait a second. Mm. Look how crispy that is. The skin on the outside is super crunchy. 
Mm. A little salty. We've got tons of dishes here. Greek salad, domadakia, the moussaka. But this is the highlight. Go for a little squeeze of lemon here. Mm. Oh, and the potatoes. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Cooked in the oven. Super smoky too. <laughs> we are just feasting slowly. <laughs> I just finished off with truly one of the most memorable meals of my entire life. Amazing food, but what was even better was just the experience, the hospitality. Greek hospitality is, without a doubt, the best in the world. It was one of the best meals ever, but sometimes it's better left off camera, so that's why you only get to see a little bit of it. We've just been enjoying. I'm so full right now. That's it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoy. Greece is just incredible, guys.